So it's a beautiful fall day and we're going to take full advantage of it because in the Pacific Northwest, these kind of days don't come very often. We're not going to wait around for it. So we're going to go for a little drive and check out a few places. First up is Pothole Falls at Lacamas Lake. Pothole Falls are part of the Washougal River and are fed by Lacamas Lake and Round Lake, which is held back by a small dam. This is a nice and easy and quick walk and doesn't require a whole lot of prepping. The trail begins at Lacamas Park, which is just off the main road and has a very accessible parking lot. From there, you take the well-groomed pass south across the edge of Round Lake, crossing over one bridge and a dam. The steel and concrete structure with hand-operated gate valves was built in 1938 for the purpose of feeding the Camas paper mill 7,000 feet downstream. As you continue down the path, it's only a few more minutes of undulating paths flanked by tall evergreen trees before you reach the falls. Pothole Falls' unusual name came from the erosion in the sandstone creek bed that happened over the course of millennia. They are something quite fun to see up close. As easy as this place is to get to, I've only crossed paths with a few different people that were just out here walking the trails. It's nice and quiet now, and even, even that way during the summertime. So it's a nice, great place to go to if you just want to get outdoors for a few minutes. You don't have to go very far. Nice, great scenery, fresh air, that's sort of thing. If you feel a little bit more adventurous, though, and you don't mind traveling a little further, Lucia Falls is another great place to check out. It sits on a 24-acre park on the East Fork of the Lewis River, about 40 minutes north of downtown Vancouver. There's plenty of parking and some limited facilities, but the trail system is two and a half miles long and connects to nearby Molten Falls. Lucky for us, Lucia Falls is really close to the parking lot. In the winter, the park gives viewers a front row seat to watch the steelhead salmon making their way upriver to spawn, which is why the waterways are off limits to recreational swimming or playing in the water of any kind, as it's a protected habitat for the salmon. This area is just absolutely breathtaking. There's just so much to see, so much to experience, tons of little nooks and crannies to dig into. I love it. I could spend all day out here probably. In fact, I think I'm gonna. I'll see you next time.